Hello Capricorn and welcome to your weekly coffee cup reading for the week ahead of May 28th through June 3rd. Um, I'm also going to be including a quick little um, gemstone monthly reading for the month of June. And for the special this month, I have, um, if you'd like a um, an extended full month ahead reading, um, I have a special on that for, it will run through the week, first week of June. And also I'm going to be having a special on gemstones too, discounted for the month of June. It's going to be up now anyway. I'm still catching up with my emails and all my comments. I will let you guys know when I'm done with that. Okay, so let's get into your weekly reading, the coffee cup reading for the week ahead of, yeah, May 28th through June 3rd. You do have good energy. It's like things are more open to you. It's like the world is your oyster. I like to say that too. But I do see also that that could be plans for the future, traveling possibly too. For some of you, it's like a completion. Um, some things are coming to a full. It's uh, pretty successful. Um, just a little bit maybe delay. That's what I'm seeing too. I do see a good get together. But I do see a situation that some, um, it's either... It could be a little bit toxic or something that's is a little bit obsessive. I don't know, but it is something that maybe you need to rethink and get rid of. There's going to be some kind of turn of events. And this also, this change could um, bring you closer to somebody who's significant to you too. I do see changes happening and crossroads. So you do have some change, changeable type of energy. Um You know, it's a lot of communications. This week is all about communications and creative type of communications. Um, like, you know, think before you speak how you want to say something, okay? And then present it. That's the best way I could say that. You're going to be making some subtle changes, okay, um, in your style that is going to be better for you. You're definitely in the spotlight, okay? Um Getting all sorts of attention, for good or bad, it depends, it's a general. I do see this, um, your professional and your personal life, all around. Um, new people coming in or new people that are more new to your situations, be a little bit careful of that because I see there, they could be a little flighty, a little bit fl um, fickle. It's, it's better to stay with the, the old group or the... The old people in your life, you know what I mean? You need to look around. There is something that you're overlooking, okay? So make sure that you're not missing an opportunity, overlooking something, missing details, missing part of the picture or something. So there's something that is uh, kind of missing here because it's all, a lot in the yellow. I do see, you know, you're very, you're like a perfectionist this week. You're really focused on um, succeeding. You have a lot of strength too. Um, it's going to be, I've got a lot of busy energy here. So it's a busy, busy week. Yeah, you're definitely being a perfectionist. Be careful with that too, though. There can be a wish fulfillment coming through too. Um, and something, there's unexpected energy here. And this could be somebody coming in. But it looks like someone or something, you may be either hearing good news or someone brings some good news to you. So we're seeing that energy as well. Okay, on the plate. You know, there is a little bit, I don't know if this is depression for some, or it's just a lot of worry, okay? Because I'm seeing a lot of yellow energy too. At the same time, this could be for some of you questioning things, um, missing something that you overlooked again, and it's a little bit of depressive energy, and this is a general reading. I do see that um, a situation or uh, some people may be leaving your life, okay? It's like you're going to have a little bit of trouble getting your message across. It's like um, what's been kept definitely under wraps or that you've been holding in needs to break to the surface. Okay, so it's like letting some things out. 
um, in the open or clearing the air. Okay, so that was your weekly reading for the week of May 28th through June 3rd. And now we're going to look at a quick little reading for um, June 2018th. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is you need to be a little bit careful about your surroundings and your circle, okay? There could be, um, you know, reevaluating who you keep in your circle of friends, okay? Because there is a little bit of like sneaky type of energy, all right? Um, you may be dealing with the water sign this month too, okay? But listen to your own advice and your own intuition, I do see a little bit of depressive type of energy. Again, these could be regrets or being in your head a lot. So I am seeing that. I am seeing this energy together is showing me there's going to be like um, death, rebirth, an ending and a new beginning. It can may be a little bit emotional or it you know could be hard to handle. Sometimes when we see that, that could be dealing with um, mourning um, a physical death from someone um, not yours or something like that. That type of energy is showing up. Be careful um, where you make your judgments, okay? Um, don't pre-assume things, too. You're going to definitely need a balance between your career goals and love and your plans for love, okay? Matters of the heart. I do see some compliments coming through. That's really good energy, too. But don't jump to any conclusions, okay? Because it could be a sense of misrepresentations or misinterpretations that could lead to some kind of um, jealousy or envy or, you know what I mean? Like jumping to conclusions, accusing someone or something, thing, that kind of energy is a little bit showing here. You know, others are going to be following your lead, your creative leads. Okay. Very creative energy too. So I'm seeing that energy as well. Um, you may be wanting to change, make some changes. And this could be for someone that you want someone that you um care about or you're wanting to make some change for someone else maybe just like revamping yourself okay for some i see this could be um love coming in for others this is possibly also um someone from the past coming through okay so this could be an x in that now let them prove themselves is one thing that I'm seeing here, too. So definitely there's going to be a balance that you're going to be needing to make between career um, goals and love. I'm seeing that in plans. Um, definitely something, a new journey with um, health and well-being, too. It's looking much better, too. And this is expanding those career goals and, and expanding and finding creative ways to um, make money as well. Yeah, just... Listen to others' opinions as well, okay? So that's another thing that shows up because this is in the reverse. So, you know, don't um, judge things too fast. You you know, not everything is as it seems. So just um, listen to other people's opinions as well. Anyway, Capricorn, that was um, your um, reading for the month of June. I hope you have a wonderful month too. I do have a discount on gemstone readings, like I said, and also a special for um, the extended monthly uh, reading that will run uh, throughout this week in the first week of June. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I'll catch you back next week for your next coffee cup reading. Until then, all the best and bye for now.